Hey everybody, it's Gumplamelli. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have an unboxing or a haul video. I feel like it's been a while since I've done one of these, but my box finally came in from Japan and I also got some PO Box goodies as well that I want to show you guys what I got in the mail and I've also built some of them as well because I, well, I couldn't cold it for the video so I did end up building some of the kits already and uh, I'll show you guys what I've been working on. So let's get started into today's video. So today's video is sponsored by Side 7 Exports. They're the ones that sent me out this box of all these goodies plus a giveaway for the channel because I always like to give back to the community because you guys have always supported me. So I love doing giveaways on my channel and um, they sent me an extra kit to give away. So that's really awesome of them. So I have the box here and I'm really excited to show you guys what I got. All right, so everything is packaged up so nicely in here. Let me show you guys. It's like fitting super well for the box. All right, so first off, you guys probably already saw, well, I'm gonna have to get everything out of here because it's all packaged up together so nothing gets broken. Use all the racket. All right, so first off, here we have from the new anime, Witch of Mercury. Now, honestly, when these first came out, I wasn't really impressed. That's why I didn't get them at first. But um, I got the Suleta one and I was blown away. I did a video on the channel, of course. And I had so much fun putting together, so it kind of changed my perspective on these because the only other one that I have put together of the figure eye standard was the very first Goku model that came out. And this was like, had to be over 10 years ago, it felt like. And I mean, it was okay, but after that, I never put one together of like a human. So when I saw that these were released, I'm like, eh, it's not my cup of tea. I didn't really like Goku. I'm not going to like these. But boy was I wrong because I really liked Suleta. So of course I had to get her little girlfriend or not, however you want to call her. Um, so I thought she was super cute. Here's the sides of the box. So I'm really excited to put this together again because I really liked the Suleta model. So of course I got to get her companion and I can display them together back there. So let me just take a peek in here. Oh, I love this color of the blue or green. It's such a nice color. Just so you guys can see, if you haven't seen what I'm talking about, look, how pretty is that, like, blue-green? And then take a look at the face. The details on this are so well done. Just like the Stiletto model. You can see the face. And you get water slides as well. These are water slides. Yeah, water slides and you can kind of make your own face. Oh, I'm excited to put you together. I mean, this will make me want to get more um, figure eyes kits. I will be going to Japan really soon. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I fly out literally almost a week from now. So I'm going to be going to Tokyo. I'm going to be staying there the whole time. So I'm so excited to go shopping on um, what models I can get. I told myself, Melissa, no more kits. No more kits because my backlog is getting a little excessive at this point. But... Who can say no to models when you're in Japan, the Holy Land? So I already know, I already, I already know I'm gonna buy kids. It's it's out of the question. My question, my but I'm gonna be pretty choosy about what I get. I say this, but who knows? Knowing me, I'm gonna buy a bunch of models as I normally do. Okay. Anyways, I keep getting distracted. Sorry, sorry guys. So the next one up here is the high grade scope dog. This is a fairly new kit. It came out pretty recently, the beginning of this year, and I've always liked how these look. I have no idea the background on these models, but um, whenever I would go to Japan and I would see them displayed up in the cases, I'm like, those look really, really cool. So again, guys, you all know me. If you've been around my channel. I build what I like aesthetically wise. I don't build because I've watched the anime or whatever. I just build whatever looks cool. So. This is like their high grade version. I believe these were originally, they were bigger ones, like master grade versions. I've never built one of the master grades, but when I saw that these got released as a high grade, I had to pick it up. Although honestly, it was kind of expensive. Um, I think these price around maybe 3,000 yen, give or take. 
So I feel like it's kind of pricey for a high grade, but I had to have it. And I believe that these also come P Bandai as well with like effects parts or expansions from what I remember. There's no information on sides about the actual model, so I can't read that off to you. But it looks like he can, he has a transformation. Oh, okay, it kind of looks like a little tank here. Oh, nope. Right there, you guys can see he transforms into a little tank. Cute little guy. Kind of reminds me of a turtle. Um, but this is all the trays. You can see it's not a lot, it's not a big model. So, expensive for what it is, but I had to have it. So, there's that. There's no resisting. All right, these I'm actually gonna leave for the end of the video because they're the giveaway. Oh, one's mine, one's mine, one's a giveaway. Okay, so, <laughs> I have been wanting this guy forever. And the la last year, when I went to Japan, I went on a witch hunt to find this model. And I went, I was in Osaka, in Mandarake, which if you guys don't know Mandarake, it's like one of the best secondhand stores to find kind of like rare, limited, P-Vanda kits, whatever you name it, they probably have it. Um, sometimes at a reasonable price, sometimes unreasonable, but honestly, it's better than eBay. So anyways, I went to the Osaka chain and I went to the ones in Tokyo. Nobody had this model. Devastated, I know. I found it on Mandarake online website, right? So I was like, oh, I found it. All I gotta do is just ship it to me, my ship it to my hotel. And I was like, great. I'm talking to the the uh, teller guy or, or the the employee, and he's like, oh, unfortunately, it has to be shipped to like a physical address. It can't be a hotel. I was crushed. It's like I was this close to buying him, this close to finally getting this model within my grasp, but. Alas, I couldn't get it, so, all right. It's fine, but here he is now. Finally! I, I'm telling you, I've been trying to get this kit for a long time. Bonus if you can guess what it is. It's from the Wing series, of course, because you guys know Wing is like my favorite all-time Gundam series. I love Gundam Wing. That's what got me into Gundams on Toonami. So, I'll give you a guess. It is a P-Bandai kit. Okay. Let's see if you guess right. Ta-da! Yes! <gasps> Woo! I finally have it! I'm so excited to put this guy together. Um, obviously, there's no, like, I can't show you pictures because there's nothing on the box of the P-Bandai kit. Um, although sometimes they do, but, you know, it's like typical kind of like one solid color as the P-Bandai boxes are. But I have been wanting this, like I said, I've been wanting this guy for a long time, and here he is. And I'm so excited to add him to my collection of Gundam Wing because one day I will get every single model from this series. Eventually, I will do it. So here he is. Let me show you guys the inside of the box. What comes in here? <gasps> green. Right now, green is one of my favorite colors. So bonus here. If you guys don't know, he, this model has like. The really cool dragon, I call them dragon attachments. Here, the back, the front, look at all that green. Oh, he's so cool. He's so cool. Do they have any colored in here? So I can show you guys some more images. No, they do not. Because this is an older one. When did this come out? 2015. So, here's a quick look at all the trays that you get. A lot of green, some more green, more green. Okay. He's probably gonna be the first one I put together. So let's see. I really should be catching up some on some other models I've been working on, but we'll see what I start first. But I told myself I'm not building anything until I finish the works I have in progress. I say that, and then I don't do that, so. No worries. I, I, I have a bookshelf, and it's over there, of models that I have started, and then something else catches my eye, and I leave that to the side, and then I start another model. 
I don't know if anybody else has this issue. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just how my brain is wired. But I have one, two, three, four, five. Five models in progress right now. Five. Five that I need to finish. So maybe I'll make that my goal. That I need to finish these models before I open another one. Let's see if I can... <laughs> knowing myself, I'm not going to be able to do it. But Okay. So here is another model from the Gundam Wing franchise. Series franchise. So this is another one I've had my eyes set on. You know, and when I was younger, I was obsessed with this Gundam. Gundam Wing, obviously, number one. Number one, Hiro Yui, mm. that, that was my man back in the day, even though he was crazy. Uh, but little girl Melissa was obsessed with him, obsessed with Gundam Wing. This guy was actually second, per second place for me, my second favorite. And I don't, I don't even think he's a popular one to begin with from what I've seen. But I don't know, maybe he is really popular. I don't know who the most popular pilots are. But... This guy, I wanted. So, and I only have, um, I think this, he might have another P band I released. I have to look into it. Um, but when I saw that this one had this really cool, you'll see. Anyways, I'm gonna show you guys right now. Ta da! Could you have guessed it? Sand Rock, yes. Sand Rock was my second favorite. Believe it or not, like I said, I don't know if people liked him or didn't like him. Honestly, my least favorite one was um, Shenlong. I know, and then I said this one. Yes, I know. It makes no sense, okay? Don't judge me. All right, but anyways, this one is Sanron, and he's really fancy because, as you guys can see, he's got, like, this kind of, like, cloak armor on the outside, and I thought that was really cool. This is Armadillo. Yeah, Armadillo Union. Unit. So... He's got that, I guess I have a cloak around him. And again, this was another one I was looking for when I was in Osaka. And I didn't even find this one at all, so I gave up. But again, my, my main mission was to find the Altron gun. Altron. 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 I guess that's how you pronounce it Japanese. So... Here's all the trays you get in the box. Pretty decent kit. So you can kind of catch a glimpse of the armored cloak. Now, back in the day, um, Bandai had the Gundam Wing kits. They weren't Master Grades, but they were 1 100 scale. And I had a bunch of them. And Sandrock was one of them. I don't know if I kept it. I can't, you know, I some things got lost in the process of several moves, and I think. Or it might be in my mom's house still, I don't know. But I, it was actually a cloth cape. Now, this is a really, really old kit, but um, anyways, I've always been obsessed with the Sandrock version and then I had to get the model with the cloth cape. And then when I saw this, I had to have it in my collection as well because I'm a big Sandrock fan. So there you go, now you guys can see it. It's really cool, I don't know. I know it's not everybody's favorite, but I think it's cool, so I wanted it. Oh, here's my pictures. It's just something about his design that I really enjoy. So, classic for me. Now, if you ask me which one is my favorite, I wouldn't be able to answer that right now. I'm gonna have to build them first and see which one I like the most. Now, moving on to the last two things, which, yes, which are gonna be the giveaway. So, hope you guys are excited. Oh, and same rules for the giveaways as always. Just comment down below um, what's your fa what is your favorite Gundam wing Gundam? Not even Gundam, or su mobile suit from the show. Comment that down below. And again, you must be subscribed to my channel. Like the last giveaway, there's so many people that won. But A, I either couldn't see if they were subscribed to me or they weren't subscribed to me at all. So guys, just subscribe and, you know... That's all you have to do, just be subscribed and comment. So make sure that I can either see that you're subscribed or be subscribed. Because again, I literally have to like skip over a bunch of people because I can't tell if they're subscribed because they have like their private thing 
or they're not. So, you know, just letting you guys know. All right, so lastly for the Japan box unboxing is here, we have the Z Dog. Now, I love this kit and this is a special one. If you guys don't know, obviously it's PB and I, but let me show you the colorings because I really, really like kind of the muted tones, uh, the muted tones from this kit. As you can see, it's kind of like almost like a muted purple slash gray. I don't know. I thought it was really cool. And let me see if there's a color on here, a colored image so you guys can see what darn no but i'll post a picture right here so you guys can see that uh it's really cool and i wanted it because i wanted the kit so i figured hey let me get two of them because maybe somebody else would also like it so one is mine obviously one is mine because i'm one of them. and then the other one i'll give away so good luck to everyone who tries to win all right and that's it for the Side 7 Export unboxing. Again, a big thank you to them for shipping me these items and also giving me an extra one for a giveaway. Really awesome, guys. Now I wanna show you guys my PO Box, PO Box unboxing that a really amazing subscriber sent me all this stuff. So big thank you to him for sending me all these things. And like I said, I have built some already because um, I could not resist. So I'm gonna show you the ones I have built. Now, I've never been a big fan of SD kits, but after building this one, I'm just like, you know what? This is really nice. Now, this is not the regular SD. I put in the, um, I don't know what it is. It's like a taller frame. So you can see that his proportions look a little better. I just don't like how SDs look. They're just like squished. Not my cup of tea, but this one I like. So when I'm in Japan, I'm gonna pick up a whole bunch of these. And the frames, as because you guys can see, it's supposed to be a white frame, but I didn't have the white one, I just had gray. So it is what it is, but yeah. And then Pokemon, of course. I got a Pokemon one, the model that I built. He's so cute. I have a few of these. I really like the Pokemon models. And Dragon Ball Z. This was a lot of fun to put together. Um, you can see here, you can actually like see all the passengers. I'm gonna, I plan on painting this now. I don't know if I have the skills to paint something so tiny because this thing is tiny. But for the amount of the detail, I was shocked. So I'm gonna be picking up some more of those. Hopefully they can find them in Japan. Because um, they're really cool and no glue, by the way. No glue, all snapped together, which is great. So here I got a Lucario. I didn't even know this one had a model. I did see a Squirtle got released and then there's, um was it Dragonite? It's like a combo one. And Gyarados, so those are on my watch list. So definitely want to find those. But you know, Pokemon's super popular in Japan, so I don't think I'm gonna have a problem finding Pokemon models. If anything, good old Yodobashi always sells Pokemon models. Here is SDW Heroes Wukong Impulse Gundam DX set. I have no idea what this is, but um, I don't know if this is from a game, but they look really interesting. Kind of reminds me of Power Rangers almost, if that makes sense. So this is going to be fun to put together. Yeah, maybe I'll have like, I'll invite one of my friends that build Gundams and we'll just have some fun building random things. Uh, I got the Tyrannosaurus Dinosaur Model Kit Light Mix Skeleton. Now this is a special plastic, but I remember Bandai telling me when I was in California, it's not regular plastic, so I think it's actually like limestone infused or something like that in there. So it's pretty interesting. Oh, here you go. Lime Mix is a new innovative material made in Japan that uses limestone as its main material. It has been patented in more than 40 countries around the world and is registered as an excellent Japanese technology with UNIDO, United Nations Industrial Development Organization's Sustainable Technology Promotion Platform. So, okay, pretty interesting. So, y'all know I love dinosaurs. I'm gonna put them together. I'm sure it doesn't need blue because Bandai is all of Bandai stuff needs. I mean, just snaps. This is the other Dragon Ball Z model. I don't know if these are new or old. Um, 2017, Never mind. So they're not new models, but I wanna get all of them. I don't know if there's more, but you see it's like really small, but this was actually a lot of fun to put together. I don't know the pricing on these things, so I, I'm, I'm assuming that they're not expensive. 
But from what I think I understood too is that if you get all of them, you can put like a secret model together. So each box has like a spare part, I think, from what I was understanding when I built the other one. But yeah, this was a lot of fun. I definitely want to grab a bunch of these if I can find them in Japan. So let's see. And the last two models, I got Shenlong Gundam Wing. Always good to have extra Gundam Wing kits. I've already built this one. But I got no problem building it again. Maybe I'll do like special coloring. So I did say Shalom was my least favorite. He is, but I think he's still cool. So maybe I'll make him kind of like realistic 21st century type coloring. We'll see how that works. It's on my list of things to do. And lastly here, Cayman Rider. I have no idea about this franchise. It reminds me of Power Rangers. In Japan, this Cayman Rider stuff is so popular. I see it all over the place. Um, so this one is a form that Gentaro Kisaragi transforms into using the force driver and astral switches given to him by Yuki Jojima and Kenjo Utahoshi. The astral... Okay, it's a lot of stuff going on here. But... Again, I have no idea. I think this is like from Beatles or something. I could be really wrong. Don't judge me. I have no idea about Cayman Rider. But um, yeah, this looks like one of those figure models. Yeah, it is figure So yeah, interesting. So like I said, I got a bunch of models and a bunch of work to get started on. My shelf looks a little overwhelming right now, um, but I will get to it. Again, a big thank you to Site 7 Exports for sponsoring today's video and good luck to everyone who's going to try to win the giveaway. I hope you guys like the kit I picked because I picked that model because I thought it was really cool. So hopefully other people think it's cool as well to try to win, you know, but again, I have weird tastes. So don't judge me because I, when I saw that model, I was like, I need it. I want it. The coloring looks so cute. Anyways, I'm going to continue rambling. So let me just cut the video right here and I will see you guys on the next video. I'm gonna try to upload one more video. I'm trying to get back into the swing of things of doing one video a week. Um, but with me going to Japan, like in about a week or so, it might be a little hectic, but I'll see what I can do um, to keep trying to do one video a week. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. So I do plan on vlogging this time around. Um, so stay tuned for some videos of me vlogging around Japan and I will see you guys around for the next one. Adios. And as always, I want to give a big thank you to all the people over my Patreon for always supporting my channel, especially my gold tier members who are Chris Wright and Michael Lyons, my silver tier, Rico Stealth and The Gunsmith, and all my ultimate fans who are Hassan Boss, Irvin Jebito On, Skelty12, William Tony. Thank you guys for all the support.